Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for some extreme closet decluttering and organization. This is my master bedroom closet. It's a whole hot mess. Pretty embarrassing to be sharing with the entire internet, but this is just what real life looks like sometimes, and you know I like to keep it real over here on my channel. So anyway, we have a pretty small house with very limited storage. No basement, no garage, no finished attic, literally nowhere to put things. So all of the closets in the house look like this almost all of the time, which means every like six to 12 months, I have to completely pull everything out, declutter, try to reorganize what's left, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I am very inspired by the KonMari method when I am decluttering. I feel like it gives me almost like a checklist of things to do, and it makes things more manageable because I procrastinate, let things get out of control, and then I'm dealing with a mountain of junk instead of doing it on a more routine basis. So the KonMari method really helps me to break that down. I do know that to truly be decluttering KonMari style, you are supposed to go category by category. However, I just like to apply the concepts space by space because that's what seems to work best for me. Or actually, maybe it doesn't work best for me because I'm always doing this. I feel like every 6 to 12 months, I'm filming a video like this and my closet looks exactly like this. Just like a mountain of crap. So maybe it's not working, but that's something to deal with another day. This is what I was doing this day. So I'm just pulling everything out of my closet. All of my hanging clothes, all of my shoes, all of this junk that I have piled up in the floor. And what this is going to do is allow me to see everything that was in there and see it all at once. So I can really have that in front of me. Like, oh my gosh, you have so much stuff and nowhere to put it. It kind of incentivizes you to declutter a little more seriously and really evaluate what is actually serving a purpose or a function for you, what you need to keep in your home or in this space, and what you might be able to part with. So at least for me, it helps me to be a little more ruthless during the decluttering process and to take it a little more seriously. The only thing I won't be removing is my husband's clothes because he's one of those people who has t-shirts from like 15 years ago and decluttering sends him into a full-blown panic with tons of anxiety. So we're not going to be touching his stuff today, but that's all right because as you can see, I have plenty that I needed to go through and declutter all on my own. I pretty much filled my entire room with things that I had shoved in the closet, which is just absurd. That's insane to me that it was taking up all the floor space available in my room, but I had that piled into a teeny tiny little closet that just doesn't even make any sense. I don't know why I do this to myself. But the thing that I like to start with when I am decluttering my closet, at least the closet in my bedroom, is all of the clothes that I have in there. It just seems like the easiest, most motivating thing to start with. I have this massive pile of clothes and then I'm going to make sure that I touch every single item according to the KonMari method and really evaluate what it is doing there, what it's doing for my life. Is it serving a purpose, a function? Do I enjoy it? How do I feel about this item? And if it's a clothing item that makes me feel really good, that I reach for a lot, is super cozy, that I just wear often, of course I'm going to keep those items as long as they are not like ripped, stained, just can't be worn anymore. But if it's something that has literally been hanging in my closet for like two years and I'm waiting until my body looks the same way that it did when I was 19, which is probably never going to happen again. So I'm really just hoarding this for no reason. And whenever I try to put it on, it makes me feel bad about myself. Look in the mirror. I don't like it. I put it back in the closet. Then I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission to declutter those items finally. Once I had gone through that first round of decluttering, I counted all of my hangers. You just saw me do that, and there were 45 of them. And I really wanted to challenge myself to round it off to a nice even 50. So I'm just going to sort through my clothes again. I put them into categories like winter clothes, t-shirts, tank tops, seasonal items, dresses. And that allowed me to evaluate each thing again. And I was able to declutter five more items, making it 
50 pieces of clothing that I will be able to donate to my local women and children's shelter. I was pretty proud of that and also feeling really motivated to go ahead and tackle this giant mess on my floor. This is definitely the most embarrassing part of this whole project. Everything that I'm sharing with you here is all of the stuff that I just had in this closet. I don't know why I do this to myself, and I'm not really sure if it's normal or not. I know that it's pretty normal to have to regularly declutter clothes. I feel like a lot of people are accumulating more and more clothing items through the seasons and years and not necessarily keeping up with decluttering, and so it becomes something that you have to do maybe once a season or once every six months, something like that. It's a pretty like constant part of your routine housekeeping to be decluttering things like clothing items, towels, things like that. But I don't know if everybody treats closets the way that I do, where you pretty much just pile everything you can think of until it's like as tall as your shoulders and then as long as the door is shut like that's good enough because it seems like that's how I've been handling my closets as long as I've been a homeowner at least. So there is all kinds of stuff that I am just having to sort through. Home decor items, old receipts, medical records, books, shoes, like probably anything you could think of I found at least one in this closet. So I'm just kind of taking it a little at a time. Like if there were things shoved in a box, if there were things in a basket, if there are loose items that are kind of clustered on the floor, I was just working my way from where I was standing all the way to the door so that I could make sure that I was getting to everything. And still applying that same concept of touching every single item, evaluating its function in my life or why I was keeping it in my house. And if I had a reason, I'll keep it. But if there's no reason to keep it, then I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because there's no way I could have organized all of that stuff back into the closet. I had to declutter. But as you can see, I did a pretty good job because there is a huge mountain of decluttered items. And so now I'm going back into the closet and I'm going to add more to that pile from these shelves that were up here. I didn't take these out the first time because everything from the floor and all of my clothes had taken up all of the space in my room. And I was feeling overwhelmed, so I didn't feel the need to overwhelm myself even further. But instead of pulling it all out and having it in a pile again, I'm going to sort through it as I'm pulling it out of the closet. So I have those piles. One is a keep pile. One is a this is just in the wrong spot. It needs to be put back where it belongs pile. And then the other is that massive mountain of things that I'm going to be donating. So as I pull things out, I'm making sure to put them in the correct pile. And then I will go in and start working in the empty closet for organization. So I had some file baskets already in that black wire basket from Target. So I did two file baskets baskets, one black basket on each side of the closet. So the right side has my husband's things and the left side has mine. And then we have our travel items on like that very top wire rack. But this is really the star of the show. I have been searching for something to organize this closet in a functional way literally for years. And then finally, I came across these organizers. They have three wire mesh bins in each of them and then a hard top. So having four of them across the entire closet fit more than comfortably. There was a little bit of room left on either side, but then having them there, it almost creates like a shelf between all of those tops. And then all of those bins, it just gave so much storage that I did not have in there before. These are game changers. If you struggle with closet organization, you need these. I'm going to link them down in the description box, of course, in case you are looking for some really good organization options. These work in bedroom closets, but I could also see them working in linen closets or like the bottom portion of a coat closet, anything in in the bottom portion of a pantry. Like, Even in a bathroom, I could see so many uses for these things. They are very versatile and definitely a good investment. But I'm just starting to fill up all of those bins first. Now, I wanted something that was going to give me some room to grow, so I'm not really feeling pressure that I have to fill every single bin or fill it completely to the top. I would like to have a little bit of room 
wiggle room, I guess you could say. So I have some extra bedding and throw blankets in one. I'm using one entire like unit, I guess, for shoes, both my husband and I shoes, and that worked out great. I had my Cricut supplies in one, and then I'm also storing away some seasonal clothing items that I'm just kind of testing that out. Usually I leave all of my clothes out all year long, but having these organizers in the bottom, I was thinking they might work really well for kind of like a storage rotation type of thing. So I'm testing that out with one of them. We'll see how it goes. But as I'm hanging my clothes in here, I'm just making sure to organize them all, color coordinate things, and also arrange them by season or the type of clothing that they are. And that is going to be everything. Then I'm going to have everything back into the closet, reorganized. I've decluttered through everything. And there's really nothing left to do in here besides show you how everything turned out. So I'm just going to share those before shots one more time just in case you forgot how much of a mess it was in here and how completely out of control it is, but also because if I show you the before shots again and then share the after, it's very satisfying because the transformation is insane. Not to toot my own horn, but I did the dang thing. Like, I really figured this out. I'm so proud of how it looks now and also proud that I finally figured out something that is not only functional in the short term, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be sustainable way long term, mostly giving the credit to those organizers, but I did find them, so I guess giving the credit to myself too. But look at this. Look at what this looks like. This is insane. I can't even believe that it's the same closet, and I'm just, I'm honestly thrilled with it. I filmed all of these clips like over a month ago now. Anyway, it has worked out. I've been living with this organization, and it has it still looks like this. Like, it is top notch. I cannot recommend them enough. If you are needing some better organization in your life, check the description box because these things are so versatile. But I also wanted to show you my huge donation pile. I took that straight to Goodwill and to the women's shelter. I did not want it to linger in the house and end up back in the closet because that's another thing I am guilty of so often. And then I also did have this one tiny little bag of trash. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the trash that I pulled out of there too. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope that this encouraged you to do some decluttering or organizing around your house or to just know that you're not alone if your closet is a hot mess. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next one.